What's going on guys? It's your boy Chris here back at it again with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my whole entire sneaker collection. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys my 2020 sneaker collection. Every shoe I've already talked about in my last video, I'm going to barely brush up on it and kind of give more of explanation on newer shoes that I uh, added to my collection. So if you want to go check that video out, it's going to be up here or down in the description below. Uh, go give it a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, especially if you're new to the channel. We are steadily growing. Hey, whoa, 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 Have you told them to subscribe? I'm telling them that right now. Okay, are y'all starting the video? No, not yet. We're about to get into it. Why? Okay, can I do the Jordans? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, by all means. Really? Yeah. Really? Like, seriously? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm going to leave it to him, guys. I'll see you soon. What is crack -a -lackin everybody? So, we're gonna start the sneaker collection video with the Jordan 1s. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Cause all this heat, that's why. Don't take none of the I say seriously, please. I say some really dumb stuff in this video. So yeah, enjoy the video though. <laughs> oh. Hello? All right, so first up for the Jordan 1s, we got red 1s, royal blue 1s, shadow 1s. These are still on dead stock. Shattered backboard 1s, the 2.0s. Next, we got the black toe retro 1s, top 3 retro 1s, the metallic red retro 1s, new love retro 1s. Next up, we have... Actually, I don't remember the names of these retro ones. Uh, there's gonna be right here, but uh, I really like the barcode on the back of them, that yellow and white colorway. Next up, we got the Homage to Home, or Homage, how, how'd you say it? Homage. Homage to Home retro ones right here. Really dope pair, love that split. Spider-Man retro ones. Now this right here was a collaboration between Marvel and Jordan. So I'm a big geek and a big sneakerhead, so this was a must cop. I like these shoes so much, I actually doubled up on them. Got another pair over there, so yeah, that's the retro ones and now for retro three so first up in the retro three lineup we have the pure monies the wools the hall of fame retro threes black cement tinkers black cement retro threes is the ogs with that nike on the back the super bowl jt retro threes and last but certainly not least we got true blue retro threes right here all right so next up we're gonna go over the retro fours so first up we have cactus jack retro fours the brand new black cats white cement retro fours with that og nike air in the back premium wheat retro fours the royalty retro fours alternate 89s brand new brand retro fours on dead stock with that nike air in the back pure money retro fours i like these so much that i doubled up on them next up we have the retro fives so first up in that collection we have the metallic retro fives olympic retro fives white pair of the premium retro fives along with the black pair of the premium retro fives all right so next up we have one of my personal favorites which is the retro six so first up we have the infrared sixes now these are one of my favorite shoes of all time I actually had to double up on these only difference is this one has nike air on the back right there and this other one has the jump man right there so this is my pair i rock and this is the pair i got on stock still next in the collection we have carmine sixes maroon retro sixes with that og treatment in the back right there the nike check mark these are also on dead stock which i should wear here pretty soon because it's been a minute we also got the travis scott sixes right here the cactus jacks dead stock travis scott killed this one so i'll be honest with you guys i wasn't really feeling these at first um until i saw them in person and saw them on someone's feet then i actually really liked them so after going to astro world in 2019 i had to get these man so yeah we got these in the collection as well next up we got the black hat retro sixes gatorade sixes unc sixes still on dead stock pinnacle retro sixes that all gold metallic colorway gatorade sixes the all green pair wheat retro sixes which i like to call my teddy bears because they look like a little teddy bear so now retro sevens i don't have any retro sevens currently but i do have retro eights so we're just gonna skip those and go right on ahead so now for retro eights we got the classic 
aqua eight colorway and the alternate eights. We also have the confetti eights right here. That was part of the championship pack that released a couple of years back. Amazing craftsmanship. The quality is just gorgeous. As for retro nines, we got the Space Jam nines and the bread nines. For my retro tens inside my collection, we got the white OVOs and the NYC tens. So next up, we got the 11s. So we got the highs and the lows. So first up, we have the cherry 11 lows, the university blues, wolf grays, navy snakeskins, the barons, George towns and the Derek Jeters. Now getting into the classic retro 11 cut, we got the retro 11 Concords, the breads, the space jams, the midnight navies, the cap and gown retro 11s, the wind like 96s, platinum tint retro 11s. These right here, in my opinion, were slept on. Just saying. For the Retro 12s, we got the Grandma Retro 12s. That's not the actual name for them. I think they're the Bordos, but go check out my last sneaker collection video. I'll give you the full rundown of why these are in my collection. And yeah, so we got these. And we also have these bad boys right here, which are the Master Retro 12s. I was actually selling these uh, at first, but I decided, you know what? These are fire. I'm going to keep these just just because, you know, I mean, black, all black shoe. Uh, my friends call me stupid for trying to sell these, but you know what? I listen to them. Listen to your friends, kids. Sometimes. Anyways, um, so next we got our retro 13s. So first up, we have the Chicago 13s, the bread 13s, and we also got the black cat 13s. So next we have the retro 14s. So first we got the last shot 14s, still on dead stock. I want to say these are called the candy canes. Um, or the Chicago's one or the other fire red. I don't know. Let me check. Actually, actually, these are called the RIP Hamilton's. Hmm. Didn't know that. Anyways, on dead stock as well too, bro. I need to wear my shoes, dog. And next up, I saved one of my personal favorites for last, which is the retro 14 Indiglo. Reason being why these are so important to me on a personal level is because these are actually my first pair of shoes. So yeah, look how cute they are, they're so tiny. A couple of other retros that I've already touched on my other video. I got the retro 16s, retro 15s, pretty dope shoes in my opinion. Well, that about does it for the Jordans. So do you wanna take it from here? Thought you'd never ask. All righty then. Deuces everybody, make sure to like and subscribe. <sighs> Great, so now that he's gone, Let's get the show on the road. So we're going to start with the Nikes. I'm going to start with the foam posit. So let's get into it. True OG, which is the Royal one. Another old school color right here, which is the copper. Something new as well too, which is the holograms. We also got the Olympics foam posits right here. Foam posit one. And we also got the optic yellow foam posit one. And now we're going to get into the foam posit pros. The all-star foam posits with the detachable Nike check marks. Black metallic gold foam posits. The Yeezy platinums, the metallic reds, the gold chrome, the silver surfers and the dr dooms all right so next up in our nike collection we got the all black up tempos with the reflective hits on there a little dusty i played with the dog in these and i have yet to clean them now for air maxes we got the international 97s this was released around the fifa world cup in 2018 2019 2018. We also got these really pure white clean 97. And our last Air Max we got are my, one of my beaters, all black Air Max 270s. Next up, we got my weird Nike shoes, which are my Nike Bonafides. Got the multicolor ones here, and the all black ones here. Here we got my Cortezes. We got the Forrest Gump joint. We also got the OG colorway right here of the Cortezes. These ones are dead stock too. These are my only two Air Forces right here. The Special Force Air Force Ones and the acronym Collaboration Air Force Ones, which I picked up up in Chicago. These bad boys right here, the off-white Prestos in the OG colorway. And I recently just picked up the all-white version from my boy Jazz. All right, so next up we got Under Armour. Yes, I wear Under Armour, but I only do it for my workout gear. I got the Rocks Delta OG shoes right here in the black and yellow colorway. I also got his brand new hovers. These are actually really, really, really comfortable. If you're looking for a great workout shoe, I recommend these two. Next up, we got the Timberland boots right here. This is the Champion collaboration in the black colorway. You already know, we staying toasty warm up in here when the winter time comes around so we got the uggs in the black colorway and in the brown colorway always comes in handy whenever it's cold and chilly outside now we're gonna jump into adidas so we're gonna just hop into the originals first starting with the nmds we got the all white nmd r1s the japan nmds in the black colorway triple black colorway and the triple white we also got the gum bottoms in the black colorway and in the white as well and a few other runners also got me a pair of city socks which are dead stock as well so next up we got 
about the human races. So I got three pairs of the trail bottom NMDs in the solar yellow colorway, the cream white colorway, and the black colorway. So next up in the Ultra Boost, we got both Olympic medal colorways, which is gonna be in the gold and also in the silver. Not gonna lie, the silver one goes pretty hard. Might go harder than that gold, in my opinion, in my opinion. Next up, we got the Notorious Triple White Ultra Boost in the 4.0 version, which is still dead stock. The 3.0 version, which I've worn a couple of times, and then these 2.0 versions, which I've managed to turn into my white vacation shoes. So these, these got in their wear. And last but not least, we got a couple of GRs right here that my boy Jazz hooked it up with. Uh, with great prices, they're amazing beaters and some nice dailies. The Adidas I have left in my collection are all Star Wars edition. I grew up on Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I am obsessed with that collaboration, so I have to get them all. So these next ones right here are the 4D Death Star edition. Both of these Star Wars edition Ultra Boost. This one right here is the X-Wing Fighter, and this next one right here is the Millennium Falcon. The Night Joggers, the R2-D2 versions. I also got me a pair of the Darth Vader NMDs and the Yoda NMDs. So that concludes all of the Adidas. So now we move into the Yeezys. Yes, Yeezy is Adidas, but you know what I mean. We got the black power phases, desert boots in the sea salt colorway, dead stock still as well. The OG wave runners, the 700s, mobs, inertia, analogs, and the Vantas. So next up, we got the Yeezy 500s. Now I only got two pairs. The first one is the OG desert rats. And the second one is one of the newest models of the 500, which is the slate high tops. So next we have the very popular Yeezy V2. So first off, we have the zebras. Now these right here, are my beater pairs i don't even know where i got this from but i oh this is my first time seeing that that kind of disappoints me i still have my second dead stock pair just uh stacked up right over there this is one of my favorite colorways ever i need to clean that that's really bad anyways but yeah you got the zebras blue tints breads butters cream whites which is still white thank god we also got the brand new yeshayas the very similar looking statics did anybody else like notice that that these look like almost one of one with the Yesheas. Come on, bro, y'all see it too, right? Like Next up, we got the Clays, the Citrons, and last but not least, we got the Black Statics, which is one of my more uh, favorite colorways of the recent Yeezy V2s. And that is it, guys. That is my whole entire shoe collection. Now, a few honorable mentions. We cannot forget the Beaters and the Chelsea Boots, of course. <laughs> so with all that being said, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like what you see and you wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can get notifications every time I post a brand new video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and post a comment down below of what you might want to see for the future of this channel and remember don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and as always guys I will see you all on the next one